Thank you, Lord. Woo. God, my Father, another day is journey. I'm so glad about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord, for all your many blessings. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for this opportunity. Lord, we uplift your name right now. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you give us understanding out of today's text. And Father, we'll be ever so mindful to give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' most holy name, we do pray. And all the children of God said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Greetings to you, my brothers and sisters, in the name of God our Father, His beloved Son, Jesus, who is our Savior, our Redeemer, uh, and His precious Holy Spirit, here to give us guidance and comfort. Welcome to 7-Minute Kingdom Building. I'm your host, C.L. Champion, pastor of Mount Mary Missionary Baptist Church down in the grand big old city of Sasson, Georgia, where we have in-person worship every second and fourth Sunday. That's right, this Sunday coming up, you can meet us in the sanctuary and help us uplift the name of Jesus. Now, this is just a, a brief message, a little broadcast, if you will, to, uh, to raise our awareness that Jesus is with us every day, not just on Sundays. It, the Holy Spirit is always in us. Uh, read the Bible. Read John chapter 14. But anyway, um, thank God for your tuning in today. Um, our topic this week has been, How Deep Is Your Love? And tonight our subtopic is going to be, Would You Live For Me? No, not me. Okay, so uh, we find our text coming from the book of 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 12 verses 5 through 10 and we find it recorded for all Christian posterity it says that of such and one will I glory yet of myself I will not glory but in mine infirmities for though I would desire to glory I shall not be a fool for I will say the truth but now I forbear lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be or that he heareth of me, and lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations that was given to me, a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me, and he said unto me, mm, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Oh, my Lord. I didn't realize I left my ringer on. My apologies, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. God's word for God's people. So again, I ask the question, would you live for me? Now, my deacons tell me uh, that they're fond of saying, you can make your mouth say anything. Oh, yeah, it's true. Some folks will holler for, for Christ I live and for Christ I die. That sounds good in the church, don't it? Mm -hmm. Well, what about in your daily lives? What about in your heart? Would you live for me? Deuteronomy 6, 5 through 9 says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Not just us now. Uh, and, and, and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up. Live for me. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontless between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house and on thy gates. Jesus once said, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouths, and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Are you listening to the scripture? Would you live for me? Would you live for me? This is the question Jesus is asking us. Would you live? Who I better leave that alone? Matthew, Matthew 6, 31 through 33. Therefore take no thought what shall we eat or what shall we drink or wherewithal shall we be clothed. For after 
all these things do the Gentiles seek. But your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. Jesus. I wish I had a little help today. Ooh, his grace. His grace is sufficient. I don't need the new fancy car. His grace. I don't need the big old house on the hill. His grace. Hallelujah. All I need. He will. <laughs> hey, y'all bear with me. <laughs> Ooh, would you live for me? As we pray, Father, we come before you this evening thanking you for an opportunity to study your word, however briefly. Lord, to give your son the praise he is due. Lord, to thank you for your Holy Spirit who gives us guidance and comfort. Father, would we live for you? That is the offer that you put on the table for us. When you allowed your son to sacrifice himself for our sin debt. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. And while you're considering, would you live for him? I say right now, in the name of Jesus, and in the presence of any witness who may be watching, I will live for Christ. I will live for Christ. I will follow his commandments. I will do that which he has led me to do. And I'm going to tell somebody. I'm going to tell everybody. Father God, we thank you. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our loved ones and friends. Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory. In the name of your son, Jesus, and with the witness of the Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord. Amen. Family, that's it for tonight. Uh, I, I tell you what, one of these days I might accidentally leave the camera on <laughs> and let y'all see about the praise that's going on up in here. Oh, Jesus. My spirit is full right now. So, look, hey, 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 it's... Share this message with somebody. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Hallelujah. We would end out a climactic uh, portion of the of the worship service in the church, in the Baptist church. We say something like, "He's all right. He's all right. Oh Lord." He's all right. God bless you. I see you tomorrow night if it be his will. He's all right. <laughs> He's all 